This lecture is going to cover dermatomes. A dermatome is a bilateral region of skin innervated by a pair of spinal nerves. Remember that when you are looking at the spinal cord, that our spinal nerves are going to be the nerves that are branching outwards from our spinal cord. So our spinal nerve is going to begin where our ventral root and our dorsal root meet and then extend into the peripheral nervous system. So when we say a bilateral region of skin, we mean the area of skin innervated by one pair of spinal nerves. So on our picture, we can see we have this area called T5. That T5 area is innervated by the spinal nerves exiting at the T5 level. And if you notice on the back of our picture, our T5 level is a lot higher than on the anterior side of our picture. And that's because our spinal nerves come out and then they curve down and around the trunk on our torso. So if we look on our torso, all of the shapes of our dermatomes look very regular. They cover a very particular piece of skin on the torso and these areas are going to overlap. So if we look at that T5 area, it's going to innervate this area of skin. But if we look at T4, T4 is going to innervate this area of skin and T6 is going to innervate this area of skin. So our entire area of T5 has been overlapped by T4 and T6. So if we have damage to those spinal nerves on the torso, that damage is a little bit harder to locate because of that overlap. But on the flip side, if you have damage to that spinal nerve, then you may retain some sensory function of that dermatome. On our limbs, we do not have the same pattern of innervation. So if you take a look at your arms, this area here is innervated by C7, and that is the only nerve that innervates that area of skin. There is no overlap. So our dermatomes on our legs, if we have injury to that spinal nerve, it's very easy to determine which spinal nerve has been injured, but if you lose function because of that injury, then you will no longer receive sensation from that dermatome. Dermatomes are easily outlined by things like shingles. So here, this is the dermatome of the spinal nerve where shingles has set up base. So we can follow this dermatome from up high on the back, down and around the torso. And because of the nature of shingles, it's a virus that infects our spinal nerves, we can pinpoint exactly which spinal nerve has been affected. If you have any questions on dermatomes, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.